Hi, I'm Matthew with F Class Community Channel. Uh, this is uh, video log number seven, I believe, um, on the Extreme Gun Shooting Center chassis. Uh, what I've done now, uh, as I said before, why I'm bidding this uh, Extreme um, aluminum chassis is because of the unevenness of the paint. And what I've done is I've scraped it off. I've taken a Dremel to rough up the surface as you can see here um, I'm probably going to put in a few um, little drill drill bit um, holes in order to uh, ensure that there's a mechanical lock between the bedding material and the um, uh, chassis so that it is uh, uh, the bedding material uh, adheres to the chassis and stays to, with the chassis but the, the surface is all roughed up and uh, uh, what I'm going to be doing also is just to clean it up a little bit uh, with some uh, 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 brake clean uh, or something similar to that. I've already, um, this is uh, about oh a little bit of an hour of removing the paint and just trying to get the, the recoil surface in there uh, roughed up. Uh, in and around there and, and this whole, whole bedding area. The paint was very uneven, um, some very thin spots and some very thick, thicker spots towards the recoil lug. So I'm happy that I'm doing this. Uh, this will be uh, my first bedding, uh, with, uh, bedding job with an aluminum chassis uh, system. Uh, I've done many stocks before. What I've done here also is I have uh, have my bedding screws and my action has already been coated with a couple of layers of uh, floor paste wax and it's ready for bed. I've um, taped off the bottom of the recoil lug. The tolerance is actually on the side here uh, is actually quite tight so I'm not afraid um, that it'll uh, that there's going to be any kind of mechanical lock in, in around this area. I also have a jig that uh, I'll be using to uh, help lift the action out of the stock. And uh, yeah, this is uh, my bedding station. I've uh, basically put uh, a bedding block, uh, a couple of blocks in holding the barrel. Uh, and what I'll be doing is I'll be bringing the uh, action or the, actually the, the chassis up into the stock area here and doing a stress-free free bedding um, job. I'm not going to clamp it down in, in any way. So um, this is it. On to the next step, bedding the rifle chassis. Hi, Matthew here uh, with the completed bedding uh, project uh, with the Extreme Gun Shooting Center chassis. Uh, the white you see here is actually leftover um, wax residue, uh, but that's okay. Uh, the surface is actually completely smooth. Um, as you can tell, uh, there's a small change. Uh, what I've done is I com uh, completely bedded this area. Uh, there is about a, a little bit more, more than a sixteenth worth of bedding material. Um, uh, maybe a little bit thicker in some spots. Um, but uh, wh what it does is it uh, uh, will give a very solid uh, platform for the action to uh, bite into or, 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 or rest against um, and uh, uh, it is uh, there's no movement at all now in the recoil lug area uh, there's uh, two areas uh, um, uh, along the stock that it makes complete contact with with good bedding material uh, the the corners uh, of the stock here and this is just uh, uh, just needed to sand these two little areas here just to make it smooth however the recoil lug is completely supported um, the action the front of the action is completely supported and the rear uh, of the action uh, the rear tang of the action is completely supported as well uh, it's just a little bit of wax build up there. But at any rate, this is the completed um, uh, bedding uh, pro project uh, for the action, um, Panda Action. And I have well, also now, I've installed uh, and it has arrived the uh, Jewel Trigger. And uh, let's 
gonna put, pop it out there. The jewel trigger right there is uh, recently installed and the action fits completely perfectly and doesn't move uh, even when uh, the action screws are not uh, tightened the action stays in place so I'm quite satisfied uh, with the bedding um, process um, the only negative um, part of it is, is uh, uh, as you can tell the paint is starting to strip off because it's very light lightly painted in some areas uh, again um, as I said um, paint uh, on aluminum uh, uh, is probably not going to be very durable so you know I may have to repaint the stock down the road but paint is paint uh, not a big deal to me um, but more importantly I have full confidence that the action is completely supported and the recoil is completely supported um, that there's not going to be any area or of error um, or cause uh, for the action to move within the stock so there you have it um, completely bedded Panda action um, with the uh, rear tank completely supported uh, with bedding material the front action area where there used to be hollowed out is completely supported as well and uh, yeah the HVR um, jewel trigger fantastic trigger so far I, I like it I haven't received my uh, uh, trigger tech trigger to compare this uh, with. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare this trigger, which is one and a half set at one and a half pounds, uh, from the factory, the HVR with the A spring, one and a half pounds, and I'm going to compare that to the trigger tech trigger uh, that is also could be adjusted down to one and a half pounds. So uh, completely. Uh, relieved and removed all the bedding material from the action screw holes so that uh, everything is uh, properly cleared and no pressure built up in any part of the uh, uh, any part of the, the action when it's screwed down so there you have it Matthew with F class community channel with the extreme gun shooting center um, bedding project Remember, keep an eye on the flags and tight groups.